In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your AM FM home stereo receiver into a Bluetooth transmitter and receiver. Okay, I get a lot of questions from you viewers asking, I would like to listen to my cassette deck or my home stereo through a Bluetooth speaker. Can I do that? Well, yes, you can. So in this particular segment, I'm gonna show you how that's done. Lately, I've been getting a lot of folks asking, how can I listen to a turntable, a cassette deck, or AM, FM radio through a portable Bluetooth speaker? And I do this actually somewhat often. I like to be able to walk around the house or the yard with my Bluetooth speaker and just listen to um, whatever program source I have here. So let's get into that. Obviously we're gonna need a decent Bluetooth speaker. So I use the JBL for outdoors. I'll use the Anchor for indoors because this is not uh, waterproof or resistant. Uh, for this particular demonstration, I'm gonna use the Micus Home RTX Pro. This is a Bluetooth transmitter and receiver. So it makes uh, quite flexible and we can do a lot of stuff with this. All right, the Micus comes with an AC wall adapter and a USB-C cord, and I've got this already plugged in off camera to the side. It comes with this 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cord. So we're gonna use that. However, we are going to need to buy an adapter, and we're gonna need a headphone adapter. This is quarter inch stereo headphone adapter, male, obviously, to a 3.5 millimeter, or as this old school guys would call it, eighth inch headphone adapter. So we're gonna take the auxiliary cord, plug it into there. We're gonna plug this into our headphone jack. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna send music from here to here to here. Go on the back of the unit, we'll plug our audio in. Doesn't really matter what order you do this. You can plug power in first. You can plug audio in either way. We're going to give it power and we'll listen for it because it's going to automatically turn on. Power on. Transmit mode. Automatic pass through. Active. Just kind of Searching for the last air device. Put this into the side. Now I've got a bunch of Bluetooth devices on all over the house. So it hasn't hooked up to anything stray. That's kind of cool. Let's, um, let's turn on the anchor. There we go. So I have the anchor connected on channel one because this will transmit to, do, to two different devices, which we're gonna go a little off subject here, but this is really nice for watching TV because you can um, uh, hook up two pairs of uh, wireless headphones to this. So you and your other could listen to this independently if you would like, all right, with TV programming. So what we have is we now have audio coming from the stereo to the Bluetooth adapter. The Bluetooth adapter is synced or paired to the speaker. So let's go over here on the stereo and just give it a couple clicks here. One, two, maybe two or three clicks. So currently I'm listening to a generic singing bird cassette. That works just fine. Now this is gonna, this little setup right here, I usually get about 60 to 80 feet average with this. This works out pretty good. I'll show you a trick to setting up the volume, all right? And this could get loud on camera here. So what I'm gonna do is I don't, when I'm out walking around the house or the yard, I don't wanna come back and forth and have to turn this volume control up or down. So what I do is I turn the speaker up all the way, as far as it can go, I will turn the volume control on the stereo up to my maximum level or the maximum desired levels. All right, so here's what we'll do. We'll turn this up all the way. And that's going pretty loud. So that's just, let's see, let's count the clicks here. One, two, three. If you wanna go up a little louder, you can maybe hit four. All right. 
obviously that's too loud to walk around with. So now what we'll do is we'll just use the volume control on the speaker. So if somebody talks to us, or if we need somebody's attention or somebody needs our attention, we can just turn it down to nothing with this and then full blast with this. Okay, so let's see, let's listen to the, uh, let's see, AM radio. Maybe your favorite uh, sports game is on. These are the elections that are going to impact your world, your family the most. And this is just a it's random a local case. station here and, in Salt Lake City, uh, just non-copyrightable. So many in this state who are so that's what we can do. We'll just go back and forth. These are your neighbors that are these that are doing this. Go to FM. And talk to you and show the nation a thing or two in terms of security. So there you go. That's how we do that. For people to very, very super easy. Um, very, uh, very um, convenient, actually, I think. I, I like doing this a lot. Okay, so that's turning it into a Bluetooth transmitter. Now let's turn it into a Bluetooth receiver. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to be able to hook our cell phone or stream from our cell phone to the stereo. Okay, so we're gonna hook the Bluetooth device to the home stereo. So here's the back of the home stereo. What we're gonna need for this particular hookup, because this is not included with the Micus, we're gonna use a three and a half millimeter stereo jack to two male RCAs. I'll leave links to this stuff down below, all right? What I wanna do is I wanna take the male RCA ends and plug it into the auxiliary input in our stereo, okay? A-U-X, auxiliary. Red is right, as always. White is left, as always. That's plugged in and into our auxiliary now. And just for demonstration purposes, I like these wrapped up and tucked up, then I can just put it up on top of the device and it sits cleanly. But because we're demonstrating this, we will give us a little bit of length here. All right. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn the micus into a receiver. So we'll go to RX, RX means receive, TX means transmit, so let's go to RX. We're gonna go onto the back panel here. We're gonna to go to the audio output side. So this is the input side, this is the output side. Plug that analog into there, connection into there. Plug power in. Okay, so in transmit mode, I don't have anything uh, on as far as my phones go. So I'm gonna take my old standby S7 here because I have a lot of music on that and I'm gonna pair it to this. But first, let's turn it around because this isn't really the pretty side of things, is it? Like I say, I like to kind of keep my cords to length and then I can just Put this up on top and by putting this up on top no matter if you're using the micus or, or any other brand the higher the better you just get better distance okay so let's do this um i don't even think i have any youtube play music on here all right so i'm going to go over here i'm going to go into bluetooth mode on my phone and i'm going to turn that on and i'm going to put this in pairing mode There it is, Home RTX Pro. It's gonna ask me if I wanna do that. I'm gonna give it the go ahead. All right, we're connected and ready for use. Okay, let's clear out of that. I am going to, we're doing this on the fly here. Uh, let's see here, let's go to music. See if I can find something, if I have any non-copyright stuff on here. Uh, YouTube audio library bumper tag. I like this one. This is John Delay bumper tag, and I'm playing that right now. Let's turn our volume all the way off because you always want to start out with. It. If you're ever hooking something onto your stereo, whether it's in transmit or receiver mode, always turn the volume all the way down, even if it's a cassette deck or a turntable. Let's turn the stereo on. Now remember, I plugged this into auxiliary, so we're gonna go over to auxiliary on the stereo. 
I have my speakers hooked up. Okay. Now I'm going to give it some volume. There we go. Right now I'm transmitting or I'm streaming music from my portable device to my receiver. And, you know, I know that it's not gonna look good here with the cords, but like I say, I do recommend you put it up here, okay? And you can do all this from the, from the rear panel. Now, what I like to do with the volume is this, because say I'm working around the house and I don't wanna be, to, to turn the volume up and down, I don't wanna be going back and forth from the front room to the kitchen or whatever. So I turn this up on the stereo, I turn this up to my maximum gain. So I turn the phone up all the way. This is at maximum. I turn this up to my highest level that I'd like to go. Dirty volume control. Make my adjustments. Now if the phone rings or somebody comes to the door, I just use this. go more fun with bluetooth i will leave let's see i will leave links to this down below i'll leave a link to this down below and a couple of my other uh, favorite little uh, bluetooth uh, transmitter receivers all right i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching please leave questions down below and um, don't forget to subscribe